Okay, so let's see how this turns out. I really don't know the game mechanics here, so hopefully being carried will keep it, uh, keep it dead. I don't really like how it respawns, but I guess that one at least makes sense, because it could have Necho bot mites or something in it, I guess. Because it's already kind of robotic, unlike the stupid ball bear, which just respawns, I think, for the sole purpose of pissing me off. Okay, are you about done? It looks like you are about done. Okay, thank you. Let's get this guy going. At least get him closer to the base. Not that that will really help with our endeavor if it wakes up. Oh, uh, Pikmin are just a little too fast. Poor guy. He's about to recover, but... Uh, I thought they were going to make it, but they are not going to make it. Hopefully he will not just stand up and start attacking again. He stood up and started attacking again. That is not a fair thing to do, Mr. Gatling Groink. Luckily, oops, it somehow hit my Pikmin. Okay, it just distracted them. Yeah, I know there's a lot of glitches with these guys, and I think the Pikmin count is dead if they were hit by it and should have died, but for whatever reason they didn't. I would really like to clear you out before the end of the day, if nothing else. So... Okay, are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? You're dead. Did my Pikmin count go up? It looks like it went back- it went down and then it went back up. That's kind of weird. I don't know, I'll have to check it out when I look at the video later. So, while well, we made kind of progress, we can take whites over here and uh, yellows over elsewhere to get that done. Uh, oh wait, this is where these guys grew, not the same area as the blood burgeoning spider warts. So yeah, one of these guys has something in it. That's the other poison gate I was thinking of. So, oh man, this is a bigger level than I remembered. Anyway, I think my blues have just about regenerated their lost comrades. And tomorrow we will be able to start clearing out some of this crap. Okay, not... Oh, there we go. You have completely healed your fallen comrades. You have certainly lost your flower status, but perhaps we can change this in the last few seconds and make a small net benefit. There we go. This is working out pretty nicely. Didn't accomplish as much as I could have, but I got that bloody dumbbell, and I'm stuffing my onion full of enemies at the last second, so I consider that a pretty good progress for day one of the Wistful Wild. Tomorrow, we'll probably break open all the doors so we don't have to deal with them later. Maybe find one or two of treasures, and I am not looking forward to doing the holes, but for too long, we will get those done, too. Probably none in this recording session, just because I'm not quite that ambitious. And there we go, at the last second, how many red pick or how many new blue Pikmin are born? Four, six, seven, eight. That's less than I remembered, anyway. Huh. That doesn't seem very fair. Those are kind of hard enemies to only give eight Pikmin back. Well, I guess they're not hard if you know what you're doing. Okay, despite the fact we only got one treasure and didn't do much else, we had a net increase of 20 blues, and we got a decent amount. Yep. Are you eating well? He was eating well, as revealed in or as will be revealed in my later, far later parts, uh, Let's Play Piclopedia. Wistful Wild, yes. It is still wistful and it is still wild, and I think my viewers still have retained their ability to read, but I'm certainly not going to acknowledge that. So anyway, I really hate having a large number of whites out at any time, despite the fact whites aren't really as useful for things as purples. 
and really the only reason you would need 100 whites is to break down doors, which is the very reason I'm doing this. But anyway, let's see how the enemy respawn mechanics work. I hope they don't. Well, I guess that's kind of weird to say I hope the mechanics don't work so much as I hope they don't involve all of them respawning. But they don't appear to. Hopefully this frog won't notice. I can beat it up with my captains. I'm upset that you can't just drain this lake too. Yeah, if you're unlucky, like in that one cave, you can kind of get caught in an infant loop with these guys if they're on a weird slope or something, because they can jump up and down really quickly. But most of the time you can punch them to death with no major problems if you have the puncho gloves. Most of the time it kills Louie or the president when I try it, but that's because I'm not very cautious. So anyway, I guess since we're just waiting, I can talk about the- oh, okay. That was quick. Good job. I could use my patent strategy of killing orange ball borbs here, but it consists of feeding white pigment to them. Yeah, uh, I don't know, can I get it to leave me alone? Leave me alone. You're such a butt. Are you gonna eat it through the wall? You probably were going to if I didn't think of it. And stop you. Yeah, it's really not efficient use, but I'll probably just waste 10 days to get the super bugs. And this one that's not looking at me, I can probably get if I can lure this guy over. I don't want them to be all deflowered, not that it really matters for whites. Okay, come on, float over here, little guy. Quit standing next to the big old... Oh, Borb. I'm not sure why they seem to be locked into their blowing mechanics. You'd think they could turn or something. Turning is not a... I mean, I guess it just requires so much of their energy. Okay, I'm running away. I should have no problem with that. Yeah, it is not... Man, those bounce pretty hard. So anyway, I am kind of experienced with killing these guys with whites from the sub-level in some challenge mode that forces you to, but it's still not a very fun activity. Oh yeah, if you can just keep them constantly shaking off, they get confused, and you can generally avoid any tragedies. That was very close. I could have done it a little smoother by doing it earlier in its, um screaming animation, but hey, I got it done. And I think this is the dream... Oh, that's a treasure. I keep forgetting that's a treasure. Looks like environment. But, yeah, we're getting pretty good amount of treasures done. And what cave is this? Is it the dream den? I cannot remember. Yep, perhaps you will find Louie in here. Beast Lurk is it? Yep. Yes, beneath the wistful wild, Louie awaits sleeping or dreaming or something. Okay, you not so much guard those, but have them to kill up those bloody uh, creeping Grithnanthians. I might actually get all the treasures out of this today. Oh, darn that I wouldn't have nothing else to distract me. Whatever, I'll get this cutscene out of the way, since he has to make a big deal out of every cave he finds, just even though there's like a million in the game, or maybe 14. This is a particularly frightening crevice. Courage is one thing, but recklessness is something else. Yeah, I think this is the one stuffed full of bosses. Yeah, this, these caves are notable for being the only ones in the game that I really honestly consider a challenge, and I restart because I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat it with the pick I lose or something. Seed of Greed, yes, it's, if you look at the, it's called that because it's like piled with too many nutrients or something, and nutrients isn't really pronounced nutrients, but I'm going to pronounce it nutrients because I can't, I'm a rebel, a maverick if you will. Hollow ticks. I wish it did not have a cutscene for every insignificant treasure you find. What makes that mushroom a treasure more than like random foliage? And I hiccup fungus. Why would you look at them and say, hmm, I'm going to eat this and see if it cures hiccups? Whatever. 
Anyway, man, we still have a lot of the day left. A lot more than I expected. Let's see, I'm gonna try to figure out how this level connects. Okay, that's how it connects. I think there's a treasure. I know there's a cave down there, but I think there's a treasure on the way. There's only one treasure I don't know the location of now, but it, we'll deal with that in the next part.